Many wonder how much faster and more powerful will Raspberry Pi 5 be compared to its predecessor. It is certain that the new single board computer design will be based on ARM4, a newer ARM architecture. Raspberry Pi 5 will support 32-bit ORC execution state and 64-bit ORC execution state, though the latter is only possible with ARM architectures for newer for the majority of Raspberry Pi owners this is not a reason for concern, because ORC execution states has already been introduced with Raspberry Pi 3. Raspberry Pi's embedded processor will have four or more ARM Cortex or newer ARM processing cores running at 2 GHz or more. It is also expected to have a dedicated graphics core with 10 to acceleration. Raspberry Pi 5 models will also feature increased dynamic memory size with up to 16 GB of Ultra AM or more. If Raspberry Pi 5 is going to be based on a broken system on chip, Raspberry Pi's broken system on chip will also need a successor, but Broken has not yet released an ARM Cortex-based design. However, there are already ARM Cortex-based microcomputers on the market. Orange Pi 5 and Rockup support a number of operating systems ranging from Android, Ubuntu, Debian to A. Dedicated Orange Pi OS also called Droid, which is Android-based. Rockup and Orange Pi 5 both feature advanced Rockship system on ship. Rook, Rook has a 4 core processor with ARM Cortex A cores and a 4 core co processor with ARM Cortex A cores, they run at up to 1.8 GHz and up to 2.6 GHz, respectively. Rook also integrates an ARM Malik graphics processor core with dent graphics acceleration. A maximum ultra RAM size is 32 GB. Rook is power thirsty design and it can't run without a passive or an active cooling. Luckily, there are a number of options, a large copper or aluminum heatsink, and all. Aluminum casing that doubles as a large heatsink, a small ventilator cooled Cooper heatsink, and even a liquid cooling system. Let's now compare Rockup and Orange Pi 5. Rockup lacks an extension port and it can primarily be used as a desktop. Orange Pi 5 is more versatile and it is intended for developers. Its external connector arrangement at first seems to resemble Raspberry Pi ups, but there are important differences. There are no micro HDMI connectors. Just a standard HDMI connector and two USB-C connectors. One of USB-C connectors is exclusively used to supply power. The other is a standard USB-3 port that can accept any USB device. A special USB-C to HDMI adapter is though needed to connect a second monitor. There are also two USB a type USB-3 ports and two USB-2 ports. Three digital cameras and an LCD display may be connected to trough dedicated connectors. C2 connector supports fast SSD drives and other fast peripherals like a Wi-Fi module. There is, of course, a Micros card slot, too. Embedded Ethernet adapter only goes up 1 gigabits per an add-on. 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi module can be plugged into C2 connector. How could Raspberry Pi 5 be better than these? It would certainly need a newer design compared to Orange Pi 5, and it is expected to have a much more powerful graphics processor core, a better Graphics and a lot of processing power will be able to unlock advanced features of forthcoming versions of operating systems. It is also expected for Raspberry Pi 5 to feature a faster Ethernet connection with a maximum speed of at least up to 5 gigabits per second and an embedded fast Wii. Fee interface with 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz range and Bluetooth 5.2 support. It should also have a fast C interface to support SSD drives and other fast devices. Another useful option would be an Additional memory slot for SDRI and extension modules. What about backwards compatibility? Original Raspberry Pi is the oldest competitor to Classics PC and Mac architectures, and it has been released more than 10 years ago. There are many software and hardware applications designed for it and its successors. Raspberry Pi backwards compatibility is a key for its success. Thank you for watching. Click subscribe and